Great. We are ready to start this project. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out your circle. And I already took a compass and I drew a circle for you and I put a little a mark at the center. So we'll have that. But I did it with a pencil. So the line is very light. And that means you may have to kind of hold it in the light a little bit to be able to see that lead and, and cut it. So do your best to go ahead and cut out your circle. That's the first thing we want to do. By the way, this is, this is what we're making. It's a, it's a book of the sea. And so it, adorable. It, 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 it is adorable. And it comes out and it's a sort of a pleated um, and, and they've got these variations in size. And then the nice thing about it is it folds flat and you can mail it to somebody. So it's a really uh, nice, you know, some, some of us are still being a bit, um, not necessarily out and about. Some people are, some aren't, but this is a nice thing you can, you can mail and it opens up and it's a, this is a lovely little thing you can put on your fireplace or other, or other shelf. Mine is a C. That's the, that was the title of the class, I think, Book of the Sea. But you, if you have another idea, I mean, it could be, it could be another theme if you chose to make it another theme. That's entirely up to you. So how are we doing? Everybody's got their um, piece cut out. And now what we're going to do mm -hmm. is we're going to fold it in half. And you want to fold it in half as carefully as you can. Fold it in half. <laughs> and now we're going to open it up. And we're going to fold it in half the other way. And you'll know, I mean, you're thinking a circle. There's a million ways you can fold it. But what you want to do is you can see that there's that fold. You're going to be able to see that fold. And you're going to take this, this edge of this fold and this edge of this fold and line them up. When you do this, you're just going to kind of be looking at those to make sure that you line those two folds up. And so now you have that. Um, you should have it folded in this, basically those, those compass directions. Super. All right. Now we're going to fold it diagonally. And basically we want this, these two folds to match up with these two folds. So you're gonna take your time and kind of, okay, so that one's lined up, that one's lined up, and it should look, when you have it folded, basically one of them is gonna be at this kind of angle, one will be at that kind of angle, and then you'll have the the quarter coming up at the top mm -hmm. and open that up. Good. Now we're going to cut on one of these folds and it does not matter which one. We're going to cut from the edge into the center dot and I think I marked your center dot for you so that it would stand out a little. We're, we have one more to fold and um, we're basically going to take, you see that we're that one that's larger than the others and we're going to take, I've got, I've got the quarter here and the quarter here on the right and left and I've got the two that are eight on the top and bottom. So I've got this fold and this fold and I'm going to Fold those together, match those up, fold those together, and fold that. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to fold from the edge along a fold into the center dot. 
So my eyes are older than they used to be. So it's not as easy as it used to be, but basically it'll, it'll look like that. It does. No. Now what we're going to do is each of these segments, we're going to put one more fold in. <laughs> Excuse me. This time, the fold's going to go the opposite direction. So far, we have eight folds, and they're all what we would call valley folds. In other words, they're at the, they're at the lowest point. And if we fold it in the opposite direction, I'm just gonna take my one, uh, one eight, and I'm gonna fold it in half. And if you have a fold that goes up like this, that's a mountain fold. So we're gonna alternate mountain, valley, mountain, valley. So basically every one of these, every one of these eighths gets, we're just gonna pleat it from one fold to the next. It does not have to be perfect, don't you love that? And so you're basically gonna continue to make little wedges into the center. You're gonna take every one of these eights and put another fold in the opposite direction. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show one, uh, one more here. So I'm, I'm, I've got this pleat and I'm just going to bring this fold up to meet the other one and Fold that down and I'm gonna go all the way around. So go ahead all the way around. Now, you may have this situation because what we're having can be uh, lead to a problem in that all of our folds are coming together to this tiny little point in the middle. So it's possible that this little middle could tear a little bit. If it does, don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna minimize it and we'll just cut a little circle around there. So don't worry about that, but try not to tear the whole thing. Just go ahead and, and uh, basically, basically pleat the book as well as you can all the way around. That's perfect. Okay. It's totally all right if it's not perfect because it is the sea and the sea is ever changing and the sea waves are not exactly the same. So it's actually more accurate to reality if it's not perfect. So we're, we're totally fine. So if you have it done, it's gonna look, basically it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like the old fashioned fan. And at which point we can open it up as wide as we would like. But if everybody could look just a minute here, if you found that it tore at the center, all you have to do is cut a little snip off wherever, wherever the torn thing is and it's still gonna look just fine. It's gonna have a, that little edge and it's gonna look totally intentional. So if it just gets too complicated down at the center, just cut a little snip off. So something else that you can do if you wanna make it an ocean. You notice that I put these little waves on them and I, I think that's nice, a nice effect. So a couple things you can do you can use your extra paper and, and cut some waves. And 
you can really basically, if you just put this whole thing flat, you can use that as a guideline to say, this is how wide my wave has to be. And now we're just gonna cut some, some rectangles and then cut the waves on and then go, go ahead and you know glue, glue waves on. You can use the extra paper from your circle or you should have a really nice selection of um, papers in your, in your, in your packet. And um, you can use any of those to make your waves. And you know some of them, I, I, I think everybody got some uh, shiny ones. And I, personally, I, I, I'm all about sparkles. And so you know that would be a nice one too. It doesn't have to go all the way out, but you know you can you can use these um, to create waves if you'd like to. And any one that you want and. Go ahead, don't glue them on yet, but just go ahead and cut out some waves without gluing them on. The waves there. And the reason I don't want you to, to glue them on yet is because we'll glue on our things like our dolphins or fish tails or whatever, and then we'll glue the wave on top of it so it looks like it's coming out of the ocean. Here's my little mermaid. and. Yeah. And, and, and the fish and, and, and so forth. Your waves. So go ahead and just, you know, chop your little wave action out of there. And now you're going to find one thing is when you come into, if you go to glue this on, when you go into the edge, your, your, your edges are very, are very small. So what I did when I glued mine on, was at the edge where I'm gonna glue it, I trimmed it down to like a point. And that helped me, that helped it fit on there better. The other thing that you can do, remember we talked about, if you tore it in the middle where you're trying to fold everything in one point, um, if you fold, if you, if, if, if you could cut a little bit off, you can even cut a little bit more off and I'm going to do that in, uh, in mine. And now it's going to mean that it's a little shorter, but it also means that I've got, I've got some depth to each one of these. And that makes it a little easier to glue that wave on. They don't have to be exactly the same size. Don't worry about it because once we have this glued on, we can always turn it over and then, you know, just, just chop off the edge. That's always a little trick to not having to make this, if you get this exactly the right size and then you glue it on, it's hard to glue and get it exactly right. So um, you've got some rectangles, you cut your little waves. They can be a little longer and they can be any color that you want them to be. And um, everybody can go ahead and who wants to cut waves um, can go ahead and, and, and cut some waves out. They don't all have to be the same color. Once you get going, there's no, there's no end to how much detail and how many, what you can put on here and so forth. But uh, yeah, we just wanna, we wanna get you, you going in terms of the basic, the ideas and some, some special, um, some little ideas in terms of, uh, you know, cu cutting and order and, 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 and what have you that are, some of those little helpful uh, tips and tricks are, are nice to know.
and the, you know those waves i'm i'm just making my basic basic uh you know waves but if you wanted to make it one of those great big um tsunami type waves you know oh. <laughs> that 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 roll and you know that, that that kind of come up and roll around you know any any kind of wave that that you want to make is is your interpretation is all fine and as i said if you think i don't even want to make the ocean i want this to be a, 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 you know something else a garden a city uh whatever you would like it to be it's it's, it's okay i have to say i did I did choose the papers with the ocean in mind. Else. And then also, please, when, when you're done, you've got this nice stash of paper. Don't, don't just toss it in the recycle bin. You know, you've got a nice envelope from your kit. And if you haven't started a stash of art paper, um, this, is a, this is a good way to start it because you should have more than you need. And, you know, you can start to to keep some waves. Good, wonderful. All right, so we've got these waves and let's just, let's just put them off to the side right now. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna use all of them yet. We're gonna just wait. But we are gonna go back to this idea and see what we have. Now, what is a little tricky about this is that um, you'd think that you'd wanna put the waves on the, you know, the, the same side, all right? If you're if you're putting it uh, on the left side, you're always going to put it on the left side, but you don't because you want it to basically be very visible from one, you know, from, from, from the front direction. So what I do is I find that center one and one of those waves is going to go on the right and one's going to go on the left. So it's going to go like that. So this one gets wave on both sides, and then you follow along over here, and this one gets the wave on one side, and this gets the wave on the other. So this side gets the wave on the right, this side gets the wave on the left. So um, that's, that's the idea there to make it more visible. But before we do the waves, we wanna have, at least on some of these, does not have to be on all of them. Something in the ocean that's sticking out a little bit. If we get too many things on here, it gets really cluttered and they start to, one thing starts to overlap another. But if we only have a few, some of them are, 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 are toward the right, some of them toward the left. For instance, you'll notice that my, my little fishtail here is, is on this side and my little dolphin is on this side, then, you know, even when they're flattened up, they don't over, you know, overrun each other. So, and then the next one, I didn't put any on. You know, I just, I just kept the waves. So the same thing over here, because I had this mermaid who's kind of very complicated. I only put one other fish. This one is blank. This one is blank. And then I put that buoy and I put one on both sides so that that, that that reads both ways. So some little tricks, if you wanna think about what you wanna put on there is you don't have to put the whole thing on, which is, which is nice. You can just put the head of the fish or the tail of a fish. So if it makes sense to you, you can do something like, this is, this is nice create create a fish and then cut it in half so that part of it's one place part of it's another so i'm just gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna cut that almost oval type shape and up here i'm gonna make that fin and then i'm gonna make that tail So I'm gonna cut a fish shape. The nice thing about fishes, um, they can be longer, they can be wider. The tails can be short or fat. They can be wide or narrow. Uh, they can have a little 
V in them, you know, all of these kind of things are a-okay. There's no one way to do it. So now I'm gonna put a little, cut a little mouth out of there and I can collage a, um, collage an eye on there, which would be, be nice. And now, so I could, I can, I can make that fish sort of jumping out of the water. I can have a whole fish on there. Or I'm going to just chop that fish in half. And over here, the tail is sticking out. Somewhere over here, I can have the head sticking out, right? So that's, I mean, that's, that's kind, of a, kind of an easy way to do it. And, 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 and you get, you know, two for the price of one. Now, if you have some colored pencils, you could also color one a different color so that it doesn't look like you made one fish and cut it in half. Or you can use collage, which is really nice. And I wanna show you some little tricks. I wanna make a great big fish eye for this, for this fish. And I want two layers. I want the pupil and I want, um, I want the center of the eye and the, and the, the kind of the eyeball. So I'm gonna cut the center of the eye first. And it, 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 it seems a little backwards. It seems like you would wanna cut the biggest part first and then the smallest, but you don't. We're gonna cut, we're gonna cut the inside first. So there's my little um, eyeball and I'm going to decide what it's going to go on. I think I have some white and I think, I think uh, the nice thing about collage, you can kind of, you can kind of hold things up and, and, and see how they look. And that, that looks fine to me. So I'm going to go ahead and take that little tiny eyeball and glue that right onto the white. And I let it dry just a second. I mean, glue stick is still glue. So it does take a, you know, a little bit of time to dry. So I have, I have this little eyeball on the white. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut around the eyeball, leaving a little margin the same all the way around. more or less. And now it's, it's ready to glue on. And it's a lot easier. I'm gonna bring that up closer where you can see it, but I'm gonna glue it on first. It's actually easier to get the sizes correct if you do the inside first and then do the outside one and cut around it. Then if you cut the big one and then you try and cut a little one to fit, well, it may not fit. It may be, it may be too big, too small. You end up cutting a few of them to get it right. So this way, working from the inside out is actually a nice little cutting trick that's it's good for many things. So that's, that's one little trick you can use. Another little trick that I'm gonna show you is, is on the tail. What if I want to show those little lines of fins? And let's say that I do, and I wanna get, oh, I've got another color of shiny paper. So I'm, I'm all about it and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna cut some some little thin lines.
And you notice I'm cutting my thin lines much longer than I really need to, to fit on that tail. But that is good because what I'll wanna do is I wanna glue these on and leave them sticking out. One thing I did not do today, I wasn't thinking, is um, normally I have, a, I have an old magazine and you can use an old magazine to glue on and then when you need a, a, a fresh page that isn't sticky, you just turn the page. So a magazine, a catalog, whatever. Barring that, we just, we're just gonna take a scrap and we'll glue on it. So I've got my tail and I have my little strips and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to uh, glue those onto the tail. And let them stick right out. And then once I have them glued on, I'm gonna give them a moment to, for the glue to dry because it does, take, it does take a little bit of time and we don't want them peeling up. So I've added some details here and they're sticking out. And now if I would like to uh, cut them off, all I have to do, and I'm going to, I'm going to do this against a piece of darker paper so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to flip this over and where it's sticking off, I'm just going to trim them off. And so now I have this, what appears to be wonderful precision cutting that I cut these uh, tail pieces and I got them exactly the right size and I glued them so carefully. The reality of it is I just cut them any old size and I chop them off and they look uh, lined up perfectly. So there's, there's another little wonderful uh, cutting trick that you can add to your repertoire of cutting tricks. So uh, I've, I've got this tail, I've got this head and I can start gluing those on to my book anywhere I would like, making sure I put lots of glue on there. And as I said before, you know, something is on the right, something's on the left so that, so that things don't overlap too much. I'm gonna put it far enough down that the wave is going to cover it. I don't, I don't want it sticking down below the wave. So I'm gonna put it about 